Hello and welcome. This is a very intense and for many people out there very traumatic time. And not only when you're at the front lines, you know, as the medical personnel, but also when you're sitting at home and you have nothing to do and you've never done this before. And I believe that those extreme circumstances we are finding ourselves in are pressing our buttons, our vulnerabilities, bringing out our fears. Actually, I'm feeling, I'm feeling out of control. That's what I'm feeling. You know, emotions are being triggered. What's that weird thing in my body? Oh my gosh, is that a feeling? Oh no, I can't have that. I can't have that. What shall I do? Often what happens is that we reach for our old crutches, for our old coping mechanisms. But we have choice. There are healthier ways to deal with, you know, being triggered. There's no structure. There's nothing left. Who am I? For example, if you just spend some time checking in with yourself every day and just asking yourself, how am I feeling? And just owning your feelings, no matter what it is, how vulnerable you're feeling with the fears that are there or anger or grief, whatever it is. Just allow yourself to be with this. It's tough right now and I'm, I'm actually feeling sad right now. Take a, a notepad and start to just free flow, write your thoughts and your emotions, pour it onto a paper. You're accessing a deeper part inside of you, maybe get some new insights, um, a new perspective. Actually, when I look around, things are actually still okay. I'm feeling some relief. And so at the end of the month or two months or the three months, we may still be in quarantine. If you do this. You heard, I ran into a hole. Come here, Mom, don't start. Who did? Like, Mom, or if you do that. Oh, I'm feeling much lighter now. And so what are you going to do? Oh my God. Another freaking feeling. Ah, oh, that feels better. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clutch my box of tissues, clutch my hobby, and watch some Netflix. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Boom.